Go. Hi, I'm Jack Clifford, Jack's Plastic Welding, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, culvert plugs and how they might be managed uh, effectively up on the North Slope in Alaska. And here we go. We have uh, three of them in one of these boxes, and you'll notice that they're wrapped in, in uh, construction plastic. And the reason for that is construction plastic is a uh, is the lubric is self lubricating, so it keeps these little edges right here from uh, wearing into the cardboard. This will help you when you're storing them too. So one of the very best things you can store them in is six mil construction plastic. So these little edges right here, they pro they uh, provide a hard point for something to wear on. You're jiggling in a truck, they can wear on your cooler or whatever and you can have a hole in these things. So if you wrap them up with construction plastic, that minimizes that problem. Okay, when you first bring it out of the box, you're gonna notice that we got a chunk of foam on here. Pull that chunk of foam off, you probably wanna save that for later when you put them away. And this ball valve is open. So you wanna close that ball valve straight away. And then, We're going to open this up, and you notice that the whole thing is folded in half. We have a couple of different ideas here. One of them is that you're going to inflate with this, with this unit here, and we have a pressure relief valve and a boat valve. The pressure relief valve will let go at 4 PSI and it'll close at 3.5. The uh, boat valve has got a spring loaded poppet on it. You can push it in and turn it a quarter of a turn to the left and it'll stay open. We're going to try to ship them to you closed, but there might be some that are still open, so you need to check those. So make sure that when you open them, when you first use the unit, that you put your finger in there and turn it to the right as far as possible, pushing down on the spring. You'll see there's more spring movement when it's in the open and closed position, when it's actually shutting off. If you turn it to the left, it will lock in the open position and there's less spring movement. Okay, notice right here, can you see that? You have a valve adapter that has a spring in it. And that spring will open that poppet without the poppet, without the poppet being held in the open position. And you'll see why that's kind of a nice idea here in a minute, okay? But I just want to show that to you. Another thing that we have here is a manual pump. These pumps are not very expensive, they're like 39 bucks. And uh, this one has a adapter on it that uh, does not have a spring in it. So, if you have the spring in the closed position, the pressure from the pump will overcome the poppet, so it acts like a check valve, and you can blow the thing up. This is in case of emergencies and you have to have another source of air rather than compressed air or nitrogen. Okay, so now we're ready to inflate the thing. So we're gonna we're going to inflate it with uh, with our pump that we use in the shop and that's just a two-stage uh, metro back uh, pump that'll get this up to four psi. I'm going to inflate it until the pressure relief valve opens up. Close. 
Okay, I haven't got it all the way inflated, but you need to leave some room for this to slide into the culvert. So now you can take this and you slide it into the culvert because it hasn't expanded all the way. And also I want you to keep in mind that with this full but no pressure in it, it's exactly the same size as the culvert, inside diameter. When it's got full pressure in it, it's about two inches bigger in diameter, but it pushes against the pipe, so the pipe's holding it in that, in that shape. So it's going to wedge itself in nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to pull it up the rest of the way. Itself. It really will fold up on top of itself. 
The idea here is to get as few wrinkles and creases in it as possible. And uh, then I'm going to finish evacuating the thing. Remember the center, the handle is the, is the center of the end, so that helps when you center that. And you may need to pull out on that a little bit, get the creases out of that. Okay, I'm going to finish evacuating it out. spring inside of here depress the poppet to evacuate it. So if I push on this, I can hear air come back in. Now, because we're going to be putting that piece of foam on top of there, I'm going to switch this open. So the valves, the uh, boat valves closed. The uh, airline fitting is open. PRV is tight. I'm going to fold it up one more time. Get as many wrinkles out as I possibly can. Foam chunk. Slide my foam chunk on there. And it's now ready for storage. So, remember the important ideas here are that when you fold something up like this in very, very cold weather, like minus 20, okay, the important points to remember are when you unfold this in very cold weather, it, it might have a tendency to crack. And so it's a very good idea to take this unit out, put it in the cab of the truck before you get to the next site so that it's nice and warm when you unfold it to put it inside of the culvert. Okay, you want to unfold it as much as possible while it's warm and then inflate it as fast as you possibly can. And then get it into the culvert. Now when you're folding it up, it's the same problem. If you feel like you need to just deflate, pop the valve, put them in the back of the truck and strap them down, put some six mil bisqueen in the back of your truck to keep them from rubbing on anything while you're driving down the road. You can tie something around these handles to keep them all in place, to keep them all in the truck. So it's better to fold them up for storage when they're warm, not when they're cold. Better to unroll them and inflate them when they're warm, not when they're cold. Did I say that right? Okay. What have I forgotten? Oh, once again, the accessories that you might want to have are a little hand pump. Without the spring, Without the spring inside of the, thin, uh, of, of the unit, you might want to have a, an adapter with a spring inside, and you might want to tape it to the hose of a shop vac to help you deflate it. These might be in the shop kind of things you would want to do. Okay, thank you very much for all the attention, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Bye bye. Now if you want to if you want to zoom in on our